Welcome to 7 Pot Club. I'm Rob. I grow hot peppers. I'm out on the deck, and it's warmish for a fall afternoon. It's time for my annual tasting of seven hot peppers from our front yard garden. Each year, I choose seven varieties I haven't previously tasted on camera. That can be a challenge in early October when the garden is winding down. Many plants are looking bedraggled and most are already done producing for the season. I usually film this episode in September, but I'm running way behind this year. But I still found some nice late season pods to share with you. I hope you'll enjoy learning a little more about these peppers while I enjoy tasting them. I always have a cold brew nearby to help me clear my palate between bites, and today it's Sweet Child of Vine from Fulton Brewery right here in Minneapolis. Fulton calls it balanced, complex, and approachable. It's very hoppy, but also rich and malty at 6.4% ABV. I'll be drinking it from this beer glass from poppopglass.com, which commemorates the Simpsons episode where Homer has a hallucinatory trip after eating insanity peppers at a chili cook-off. Mmm, that's good. Now, this is a tasting and not a challenge. I had surgery earlier this year, and more recently, I had my first, and I hope, only bout with COVID-19. I don't want to stress my aging body with the extreme stomach cramps I've sometimes experienced after previous tastings. So I'm definitely going to nibble on small pieces from some of the hotter pods, instead of chomping off huge bites like you've seen me do before. Even though it's so late in the season, I've got some nice peppers here, picked just moments ago. Before the tasting commences, let's take a closer look while you listen to the original tune I wrote and recorded to commemorate this year's tasting. I'm gonna eat some peppers in the sun Cause tomorrow winter comes I'll pretend that it is June On this sunny afternoon I don't wanna hurt myself today If I'm not careful then I may So I'll just nibble on the pods I won't call the pepper cards First up, Mattapino, seeds courtesy of Matt's Peppers. A few years back, Matt was working in a commercial nursery when he discovered this strange variant in a huge tray of jalapeno seedlings. He grew it out, saved the seeds, then shared it with the world. Gardeners all over the globe are now growing the Mattapino and even crossing it with other varieties. Here's a nice example. Let's give it a taste. This is mild enough, I, I think I can bite off a big piece. That's very, that's very tasty. It doesn't really taste different than a normal jalapeno, but it's definitely hotter than the kind of grocery store jalapenos you, you get these days. This is great. Matt has sent me some seeds of crosses he's made with the Mattapeno and other varieties, and I'll be growing those next year, and I'm just really happy to be a part of growing this cool pepper. Let's move on. Next up, Puria, seeds from Semillas La Palma. Some people call this frutescence variety an ornamental. While the upright growing peppers are quite attractive, these pointed beauties are seriously hot peppers with a great taste. Let's check it out. You know, as you might guess from the species name, frutescence peppers usually are quite fruity, but not like uh, 
chinense peppers are. It's just nice and sweet, and it's got, you know, I'd say near, near habanero heat. It's really good. It's loaded with seeds, and uh, this is definitely one I'm going to grow again. Okay, here's the pepper I call Rob's Folly, Capsicum Chinense. I covered its history in my recent Walking the Pepper Path video. After a series of accidental crosses, it's morphed from a small, round red pepper called Mata Friday to what you see here, a smallish, elongated orange variety. Now, people are always asking me if there's a lot of cross-pollination in my densely packed garden, and the answer is yes, and here's the proof. This is why I don't save seeds from my garden except for varieties that aren't likely to cross. Let's see what this unintentional cross tastes like. You see, I'm still biting into them. I am going to cut off smaller slices when we get into the next one, probably. Whatever this is crossed with, I, I think it's still chinense like the Mata Friday is because this is pretty darn hot. You know, definitely habanero level heat, but with uh, more of that South American rather than Caribbean flavor, if you know what I mean. I will save these seeds and grow it again because I'm, I'm just interested to know what's going to happen to it year after year. So anyway, Rob's Folly. I always like to include a Kangstar variety. This year, it's KS TCB Crimson Bonnet. Seeds from Ron Scott Nicky. This chinense is a cross of Chocolate Scotch Bonnet and Star Racha and was developed by Kang back in 2016. But this is the first time I've grown it. And, you know, obviously I'm outside, it's fall, people are trying to get projects done before the snow flies, so, you know, sorry for the noise. But time to taste. This one looks pretty hot, so I'm gonna slice off a little bit. Thin walled. Not a lot of seeds, pretty hot. I'd say like, you know, scotch bonnet heat. Wow, that's really good. I'm gonna have another little tiny piece of it. Not as fruity as I thought it would be, but very rich tasting and, you know, just a really nice pepper like all of Kangstar's crosses are. So, hey, we're more than halfway done. Time to move on to number five. Number five, Pimenta Puma is a very showy plant and pepper, seeds from exotic hot peppers. It has dark foliage and dark purple pods that develop crazy mixed colors as they ripen. It's a cross of Pimenta Denied and Gold Habanero. There seems to be some Capsicum Adam DNA in here, but the dominant species seems to be Chinets. Let's give it a try. Definitely chinense flavor, but I would say this is not quite as hot as the previous pepper. I love this one because of the appearance, but it's also uh, a very tasty pepper, and I will probably grow this one again next year. Only got two more to go, so let's not stop now. So we just had Pimenta Puma. But what do you get when you cross a Pimenta Puma and a Carolina Reaper? The answer is Reaper Spagliato Purple Peach. Seeds from Berry Gill. These ripen to peach with purple highlights. Now, Pimenta Puma was pretty hot, but I'm sure the cross with Carolina Reaper has upped the heat level a few notches. But there's only one way to find out. Wow, it's got a lot of placenta in there. Here we go. Yes, definitely adding Reaper has changed the heat a little bit. This one's a creeper getting hotter moment to moment. You know, so the one I'm feeling it in my gut already. This is really good, but 
not one I'm just going to be snacking on every day. I, I love these plants that are very pretty, kind of like ornamentals, but yet, you know, they pack some serious heat. This is one of those. So, well, we were already to number six. There's only one more, and that one's looking pretty scary, but... Gonna move on. Okay, time for the seventh and final pepper. I usually save the hottest one for last. Thanks for hanging with me this far. I'm definitely feeling a little shell-shocked and gut-punched after the first six. But like a marathon runner on the last mile, I'm having a burst of energy as I near the finish line. <sighs> this year, the final pepper is Star Scream. This is not related to the similarly named KS Starscream. It's a cross of Jay's Red Ghost Scorpion and Yellow Carolina Reaper developed by Pennsylvanian grower James Mallon. The result is a peach colored pepper that looks nasty hot. I'm just hoping I won't scream after tasting a bite. But let's see. This is definitely as much as I'm going to eat of this. We'll just, we'll eat the stinger first, just to get a little preview. <laughs> Eating the pepper. When you mix up so many super hots and one pepper, I don't think you're gonna get a mild pepper and this is not a mild pepper. I won't say it's the hottest pepper I've ever eaten, but you know, light colored peppers seldom are, but for a peach pepper, it may be the hottest peach colored pepper I've ever eaten. And wow, this one, the heat is, is really building I'm definitely not going to scream, but I'm whimpering a little bit inside. You know, all I can say is I made it through another tasting. These are my favorite hot peppers for 2022. If I'm writhing in pain soon, it will be off camera and you won't know about it. I hope you enjoyed the tasting and the music as well. If you enjoy our content and would like to see more, you can help us grow by liking this video, subscribing to our channel, and tapping the bell to be notified when we post new episodes. Check out all our merch at sevenpot.club slash merch. If you'd like a free Seven Pot Club membership card and stickers, get the details at sevenpot.club slash card. And for even more Seven Pot Club, follow our daily exploits on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. For Seven Pot Club, I'm Rob.